Hi guys. It is a another spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful day. Here in paradise. Absolute paradise. We are at on the shores of Lake Bacalar. <coughs> Lake Bacalar. In Bacalar, Mexico. On this spectacularly gorgeous day in the end times. Could be a Wednesday. It'd be Wednesday, February 8, 2023, I believe. And, uh, <laughs> oh God, I, uh, I obviously could not have been too obvious with my camera, but I, <laughs> you know, what just passed, what just happened right here in front of me, oh my God, what I would have given just to whip the old camera out and start filming. So what it was is, you know, I've been talking about these young, beautiful people, uh, I call them the uh, I call them the vulva smoothie slurpers. You know, you can you have your choice of smoothies down here that all of these young, beautiful, privileged little bliss ninnies. Uh, and I, my two favorite that you know they have all of these names for the various smoothies, and so we have the vulva smoothie and the orgasm smoothie. So, uh, I have chosen the name Vulva Smoothie Slurpers to describe these guys. So one of the <clears throat> things you can spend your money on down here are these paddle boards. You know what a paddle board is. It's like a big surfboard, but instead of surfing, you, you stand up and you paddle it. Well. What just passed right out here, uh, <laughs> about 50 feet from me, <clears throat> it was this absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Uh, one of these little uh, hotties, she was, you know, splayed out across the uh, across the paddle board, and standing above her was this, uh, you, you know, this walking model, uh, this gigolo looking young man, just, you know, absolutely toned, uh, chiseled, you know, the kind we're looking at. So he is paddling with all of his might. I mean, the wind is, I'm trying to keep the wind off the microphone, but the wind's whipping pretty good. And uh, so this guy is, was busting his ass, uh, you know, paddling around this probably about 110 pounds of, of dead weight. Uh, this uh, little privileged, uh, you know, vulva smoothie slurping little bitch uh, being paddled around on her paddleboard. I guess she. I uh, misread the sign that she must have read it paddled board and I mean she's clearly you can tell that this girl is clearly you know accustomed to being paddled around uh, on a <laughs> uh, on a paddle board you know the little Cleopatra I guess this guy uh, peeled her a guava before uh, loading her onto the paddle board and heading out into paradise. So, you know, it's, uh, I was just having this very, you know, internal dialogue with myself, thinking, okay, uh, you know, look, looking at all these beautiful women down here with their beautiful little boy toys uh, that they're leading around, you know, with a ring through their testicles. And I'm thinking, you know, first I'm thinking of it, you know, from the woman's perspective, what must it be, feel like, you know, just to be a, a, a fat, ugly normie? 
uh, just some fat, ugly, middle-aged, or especially young normie down here in Bacalar, Mexico. Uh, it's surrounded by this ocean of these drop-dead, gorgeous little hotties. Uh, <laughs> You know, walking around and, and, and having this in your face. And then the other thing is, you know, I'm sitting here whining about being a doomsday lonely heart. Uh, so obviously, if I ever do find a woman in my life, find my doomer chick forever, and I bring her down here, uh, you know, what does it feel like? to have, you know, just an average looking woman, uh, you know, especially if you're 63 years old, uh, <laughs> just to be walking around with this uh, whatever, uh, the, 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 you know, not even necessarily some fat, ugly woman, but just an average looking, you know, 60 year old woman from the U.S. and coming down here and, and seeing uh, all of these, you know, these young, beautiful people with uh, with these gorgeous girls hanging off their arms. But then, of course, you, you know, you start thinking, you know, how high maintenance are these? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, these dudes work for it. Uh, how high maintenance? How how many? just the, you know, average looking middle-aged women uh, expect their 63-year-old boyfriends to paddle them around uh, on a paddle board. Uh, it, it, it could be holy hell maintaining one of these, uh, one of these top shelf, high grade uh, little pieces of puny. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of fucking work to uh, to maintain one of those. I, I can only imagine how much money they go through every day, they, you know, expecting to be pampered uh, from the minute they wake up to the minute they go to bed. Uh, anyway, it's just, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever choice the universe makes for you, since uh, in matters of love and romance there is no free will, uh, so whatever choice the universe makes for you in matters of love and romance, you know, after you're in it, uh, the other side of the fence I'm quite sure starts looking a lot greener so uh, I guess I will start to get ready for my next round of uh, you know five for one margaritas uh, and watch all the beautiful people all the beautiful people all the Volva smoothie slurpers sipping their margaritas and having their $20 fajitas. Whatever. Oh, God, life. Life in paradise. Where is a paddle board? Full of hotties when you need one. Oh my gosh.